Good morning traders, Richard here doing quick Ichimoku Cloud Chart Market View for the S&P 500 Index Futures. I've got the E-minis up here, weekly Ichimoku Cloud. Market struggling to get past this top end Cloud Chart resistance zone. Any price action below this is still bearish, so we, have a, we had a brief little bear market rebounding from the standard line of the cloud here. Back up to the bottom in the cloud, there was a beautiful buy signal back there. And now the index is fighting resistance there at the top end cloud chart resistance zone. So critical to see if the market can break past this zone here at the top end of the cloud. And then the outlook will change from bearish to bullish on the weekly. Downside risk is the front end of the cloud here, that level there. As well as the turning line and the standard line of the cloud and ultimately the bottom end of the cloud. These are the downside risk targets, those four downside targets in case this uh, consolidation or correction lasts back down to the bottom end of the cloud there. Interestingly enough, the front end of the cloud is twisted to the upside, so we might be starting to see the early signal that we'll get a uh, continuation of the uh, current uh, bull market rally, bear market rally, so to speak, but it we do have downside risk to these levels before we actually get another attempt to break past that cloud chart resistance zone there. So downside risk to these levels, front end of the cloud, turning line, standard line, and the bottom end of the front end of the cloud. These are the downside risk targets. If resistance holds at this level, if we break past this resistance, then the next level is this cloud chart resistance level, as well as that level up there just under the 4,350 zone and then this 4,400 zone there, that resistance level. So these are the upside targets. If we get a breakout, high volume breakout past the top end cloud chart resistance zone. Turning to the daily Chimoku. You see a bit extended from the top end of the cloud. So this downside consolidation risk to this cloud chart support zone. 4,000 is a line in the sand on the daily. So the currently price action is above the cloud. That's bullish from an Ichimoku cloud chart perspective. As long as price action is above this uh, cloud chart zone here on this chart, the rally should be okay. Now there's risk that this rally will have a consolidation back down to the top end of the cloud. Any kind of level there together with the standard line of the cloud can come back in to provide support around 4067 if we see further consolidation of this particular move from this low 3780 to 4180 roughly a 38 percent fibonacci zone will bring us back down to 4080 4067 zone so there's that uh, risk there in a very weak market we might test the 4000 zone again if the earnings season is rather disappointing we'll have to wait and see on that but these are the downside risk targets uh, for any kind of weakness in the market. Turning to the four hour Ichimoku. Now, yeah, we're struggling to maintain bullish momentum. Yeah, we're dipping below the cloud. So the outlook can change to bearish on the uh, Ichimoku cloud. Price action below the bottom end of the cloud is bearish. Price action above is bullish. So we've had a sell signal there in the four hour, struggling to find support at this cloud chart level. Keep an eye on for these levels to the downside for a potential uh, support rebound. It's that zone there, 4,127. And the next downside risk target would be this zone. Yeah, you see that top end of the cloud there, 4,122 is a major support zone, top end of the cloud there. So that should come into play. And if the market's very weak on the four hour, we might just test these lows here. Bottom end yet, 4,067. So these are the downside risk targets if this resistance here at 4,000, uh, what's that, 4,147, if that resistance level holds uh, and that support level fails, then these are the downside risk targets. Let's take a look on the hourly chart there. Now, the hourly one is back in bearish territory. Since slicing through the bottom end of the cloud, they're back in 19th of April and has now been struggling to regain a foothold to the upside. So we really need to see a breakout past this top end cloud chart to be bullish on the four, on the hourly chart. Yeah, uh, let's take a look at where we see the support zones there. So look out for a potential support rebound between 4127 and 4122. 
So we're very getting very close from it being extended from this, uh, you know, the distance between the cloud resistance zone and the current price action. Every time it gets a little bit too far away, we get mean reversion. So there's a swing trade opportunity from these levels back up to the bottom end of the cloud, uh, 4,147. So there's a good couple of points in that uh, trade on the hourly. But still bearish on the hourly, starting to look bearish on four hours. So there's likely that we might get that consolidation back to the top end of the cloud on the daily. Uh, daily, still bullish, price action above the cloud with downside risk to 4076, which we now get from the four hour chart. And then this line in the sand, yeah, roughly 4000 is another major support zone to keep an eye on. I've had a MACD sell, yeah, so it will be interesting to see if we're going to get and test these levels. And then on the weekly, once again, there, that top end cloud chart resistance zone remain in place. And we've got downside risk to 4,000 there and then 3,956 where the uh, standard line of the cloud is. But early warning signals is at some point in the next couple of weeks, we could test these lows and then rebound from there and then break out past the top end of the cloud on a seasonal basis. But so far, selling main go away might just come into play this year. And then we get a test of these uh, bottom in cloud chart support levels on the weekly Ichimoku. Until next time, happy cloud chart trading. Bye for now.